El corazón. Ya lo tengo. It's a typical day on a Sunday afternoon at the Marta and Hector's Romo home in Calexico, California. Marta's daughter, who goes by Martita, and her daughters are playing Loteria, the Mexican version of bingo. It's a game of chance, but Marta and Martita are already winners in an even bigger gamble. A few weeks ago, Marta was dying and Martita risked her own life to save her mother's. It's like um, giving her back everything that she has gave me. I am what I am now because of her. She means a lot to me. It all started with a nosebleed. Me desperté con bañada en sangre, le hablé a mi esposo. Él le habló al 911, llegó la ambulancia y me llevaron al hospital. At the hospital, doctors told Marta her blood pressure was high and later that evening, it was discovered that she was born with only one kidney. She was at the hospital for hours and went from machine to machine. Her creatinine levels peaked, a telltale sign of kidney failure. Marta was on death's doorstep, forcing her to go on dialysis. Tres veces a la semana. En Mexicali iba martes, jueves y sábado. Marta was stunned. After all, for years she had been feeling fine. She was a dance machine at all the family parties and had always held two jobs, one as a playground attendant and the second a cook at Pizza Hut. Now, suddenly, on the advice of her doctor, she had to quit both jobs. Her busy, vibrant life turned into a waiting game filled with boredom and a creeping dread. Es lo que extraño mucho trabajar porque yo estaba acostumbrada a trabajar. Ya están los tamalitos. There were tough lifestyle changes ahead. Si era difícil el, el hacer la comida y no poder comer lo que yo estaba haciendo, igual que antes. And there was tremendous physical pain. Con la fístula, este sí es doloroso porque aquí te están pinchando dos veces, tres veces a la semana. Esto es lo que duele porque meten la aguja, pero la meten así y luego la hacen así y luego la hacen así y es una tortura. But Marta was no stranger to pain, sí, la, especially the emotional. Hay una pain. persona. Years before, in the early days of her marriage, Marta suffered a miscarriage and a stillbirth. After lots of disappointment and lots of prayer, her pain gave way to joy when at last she gave birth to her only daughter, Martita. El día que nació pues fue el día más feliz de mi vida porque ya tenía yo varios intentos en querer ser madre y no lo había logrado. Siempre siempre conmigo. No más somos ella, su papá y yo de familia y siempre ha estado conmigo. Among such close and loving relationships, Marta's sudden diagnosis struck the entire family. With her health deteriorating rapidly, something had to be done quickly. The family immediately set out in search of the best transplant centers in the area. Through her research, Martita learned about living donors. So since I'm an only child, um, that, it's, that, that was the first thing that I, I, th I thought. I mean, maybe I could donate to her and hopefully we, can, we may be compatible. I told my mom, you know what, I'm thinking about doing this. I, I didn't ask her and I didn't ask pretty much nobody. Not even my husband. ¿Por qué tú? Porque yo quiero hacerlo, me dijo. Pero y las niñas, le dije yo, ¿qué va a pasar con las niñas si te pasa algo? No va a pasar nada, mamá, dice yo. A mí ya me explicaron cómo está todo. At last, they get the news. I received a phone call from the transplant coordinator saying that, you know what, we have good news. You are, you are a match. And then I started crying, and my mom was here, my dad was here as well. So we all um, hug each other, it was like a group hug, and we all started crying and laughing, and it was a very exciting moment. No encuentro yo una, una palabra adecuada para decirte lo que yo siento. Mi hija. Me da mucha emoción todo lo que está haciendo por mí. La valentía de, de quitarse un algo de ella para dármelo a mí. With both his wife and his daughter about to risk everything, Hector feared losing the two most important women in his life. Está, está difícil. Las 
quieres mucho las dos. Mucho, mucho. Mis dos más pacientes. ¿Qué significan para ti? Todo. It's the day before the surgery, and Marta attends her last dialysis. Muy feliz, mucha emoción. Porque es un sufrimiento estar allá adentro. Mi brazo me duele desde que llego hasta que me quitan las agujas. Me espero ya no volver. At last, it's time to head out on the most important road trip of the two women's lives. The tiny apartment becomes Grand Central Station as Marta Sr.'s mother. Five sisters, friends and neighbors fill the house. Critical supplies for the trip, blankets to keep warm in the hospital and rosaries to pray for the Virgin Mary's intervention. The tears and the goodbyes don't stop. And that moment when my grandma was um, blessing my mom uh, for the surgery to be great, it was, it was a very special moment to be around them. It was amazing. The 120-mile drive from Calexico, California to San Diego will take two hours, a journey that will change both Marta's lives forever. Hoy es el día de mi cirugía y me siento muy emocionada por lo que va a pasar hoy. Ya estoy en manos de los doctores. Yeah, I thought that I'll be, um, I don't know, that my heart will be running and shaking, and, but no, I feel pretty well. I'm really excited. It's 5 a.m. and emotions fill the lobby of Sharp Memorial Hospital in San Diego. Many of the family members have followed the women to squeeze in one last gathering before surgery. It's very good to have them here with us. The moment arrives suddenly. Martita's husband, Christian, joins his father-in-law, Hector, each holding his wife closely. Time for surgery. Okay. Um, the reason being that there was like water coming down because we have three sets of elbows. As they were pushing me down the hallway to getting to the surgery room, that was a moment that I, I started to be really, really nervous. And I was so afraid because that's the moment that I was going to be alone by myself. But of course, she's not alone. A team of experts on the second floor in OR number nine, Dr. Evan Vepnik, performs the intricate surgery and removes Martita's kidney. Today, it's, it's a little bit like a symphony. You have two rooms going on at the same time and they have things line up correctly. Okay. Oh, Dr. Vapnik was ready to, to get the kidney out of Martha, so then I went down the hall. I cleaned it off, chilled it, uh, flushed it, and then uh, we went right back over to uh, Mrs. Romo's room and finished off the kidney transplant. Good, and we're done. Closing time. With the surgery a success, Dr. Brown is eager to announce the good news. Well, so Martha's great, everyone's great. Martha's husband? You're doing wonderful. Everybody's making lots of urine, okay? Relief spreads through the family. Siempre tuve confianza con todo el equipo como nos trataron, pero definitivamente ahorita que ya nos dicen que todo se puede bien, pues más, más, más a gusto. Todavía necesito verlas para, para comprobarlo, pero pues ya con lo que me dijo el doctor, muy calmado, muy a gusto. As she awakes from sedation, there is only one concern on Martita's mind, her own daughters. Christian assures her the girls are well and so is her mother. Across the hall, the same scene plays out as Martha's first questions are all about her daughter, Martita. Minutes after the surgery, mother and daughter reconnect and mother Martha is overcome with emotion. 
I, I felt bad for her because she was crying so bad and I knew that she was she was kind of suffering not because of the surgery because she she saw me um, and and it was it was hard for me to see her like that The day after surgery, both women are doing well. Their bond continues to be unbreakable. I'm very happy. Um, I'm, I feel so blessed because everything went well. Right now, I just the only thing I want to do is to go and visit her at her room and see how she's going. Feliz de estar la que esté aquí conmigo. Y así va a ser siempre. The recovery period for Marta and Martita was about five weeks. With the support of their family, both healed quickly with no complications. Me siento muy bien. Hacía muchos años que no me sentía tan bien. Mi hija está siempre al pendiente de mí. I feel excellent. I feel so great. And just to be able to have my mom around me and healthy, that, that makes myself so happy. In 2013, 14,000 Americans received kidney transplants. Another 100,000 are currently awaiting donors, with 2,500 more added to the list each month. And of those waiting, an average of 14 die each day, unable to find a donor. But the story of Marta and Martita, like all the stories, goes beyond the statistics. Thanks to her daughter's gift, Marta gets a second go around in life and her family gets to come along for the ride. El futuro es quererla más que nunca, uh, estar siempre juntas, cuidarla, las dos cuidarnos porque yo sé que ella también me sigue cuidando. I don't have words um, to describe how happy I am and how um, this means to me to see her like that and to see her playing with my daughters and I know that everything from now on everything will be perfect for us.